Okay, this is the generic. First question for you is, can you describe what our friend is about? Oh, <clears throat> our friend is about a, uh, a couple um, who has a best friend. Um, the couple goes through something very, very difficult and the best friend moves in to keep their lives um, afloat and as beautiful as he can possibly keep it um, while they're going through tough times. Okay, the next question is, what about Matt inspire you to make this movie? Matt Teague, who wrote the article, The Friend, um, I think what is most inspiring about what he did in writing the article is the idea that he, even through his grief, was able to have the perspective and to see that every time he fell emotionally into darkness, which is something you do when you, you know you have when you experience loss, um, he acknowledged that there was someone there to break his fall and to kind of buffer it. Um, and I think that speaks to Matt. He's um, always paying attention to everybody around him. Um, I think he thinks Nicole did that, but I think he did that too. And I think he does that. Um, and I think the fact that he wrote an article acknowledging that he had an anchor and that he had a tether during his darkest days, it was such a beautiful thing. Um, and I totally find it inspiring. Okay, the next question is, how did the cast uh, for this film come together? Um, I knew I wanted Jason for Dane. Um, I had seen End of the Tour and I'd seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall. So I saw this one individual can span um, the entire myriad of emotions um, and do them in a way that makes you want to be with him and hang out with him and hear what he has to say. Um, and so I knew that's what I needed for Dane. I needed those layers um, to play throughout this film. And then uh, Dakota was this, I feel like she's this magical fairy person. Um, she would completely roll her eyes about that, but she has this ability to be um, strong while she's vulnerable. I don't know many people that can do that in such delicate tr like brush strokes. Um, you see the pain and the vulnerability behind these big blue eyes while she's, being strong while she's making a, 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 a strong decision or speaking her mind. Um, and that is something that felt so much like Nicole. Um, and then Casey, you know, there's just sort of nothing he can't do in this kind of dramatic way, in this dramatic kind of um, medium. But for me, it was also, he has this um, accessibility where you feel like you're him, you feel like you're feeling what he's feeling. Um, you want, again, like the other actors, you wanna be with him, you, ha you want him to be your friend. And those are things that I needed for all three of these actors. And he also, if you remember from the Oceans films and from all, so many of the films that he's been in before kind of like this dramatic kind of take that he's had recently is he's really, really funny. And so I had like, the spectrum of everything, the dream cast to be able to get this film. So it's not just one thing. It's not comedic. It's not necessarily the whole entire thing isn't dark. It's a, uh, it's a little bit of everything and it should feel like that because that's what life feels like. Okay. Uh, what was it like shooting in Fairhope, Alabama? Shooting in Fairhope was um, very uh, scary for me. At first, um, I could feel Nicole everywhere. Um, I think Dakota was stopped on the street by someone who wanted to talk about these iconic shoes that Nicole would wear, these red high heel shoes that Nicole would wear. I was stopped on our location scout um, with someone who sort of brought me aside with tears in their eyes and told me what she had done for them, um, that she was you know, always there, part of this congregation, and she was just this light for this person. And so like, oh, you just feel the burden of trying to do right by everybody. 
because she was so many things to everybody. Um, that said, the more we moved on, the more I realized we were in this hug, you know, and this, this, these people and this energy were um, kind of rooting for us and helping us and um, just wanted to do whatever it could, whatever they could to sort of shepherd us along um, in such a, a, a beautiful way. So I think um, it ended up being pretty magical uh, filming there. Okay, and lastly, what do you want audiences to take away from the film? Um, gosh, there's so much I want for people to take away from the film. Um, I want it to feel unique to each one of us because I think our relationships with um, losing someone is so unique. People always say you're not alone when you lose someone, you know, or you're not alone when you're depressed, but you're not alone. You're very, very alone, right? But I think, I guess one of the takeaways for me is that just because you're the only one grieving in that particular way, doesn't mean you're the only one grieving. And that is like, if you start looking around, you see that other people are helping uphold the memory of this person and that they're in, in that way, they're almost upholding you. So I guess the biggest takeaway is I would want people to leave this film and hug the ones, hug their loved ones and keep them close. And then the next day, just um, call a friend you haven't spoken to for a while. That's it. Thank you, Gorilla. That is all. Let's go ahead and cut.